hybrid of, of the AV30, right, it has, it's like the AC, fully wild, I mean, full tube. That's why it's damn powerful. You hear that low mids. Mm. <coughs> but it has a um, hybrid DSP that you can combine. So you heard a bit of delay as well. Oh, you put up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just a fast one, just let them hear the delay. Go, go, go. Yeah. So that's the DSP in action. So that's, that's, the, that's where the hybrid comes into play. You get that full tube tone, and uh, there's chorus, delay, and... Um, what, what's the other? Chorus, delay, right? Reverb. Yep. Yep, so chorus, delay, and reverb. These are the three... Um, DSP is available in the hybrid. Yep. Yes, you said sufficient to get the job done. <laughs> Entry level. This is the VX2. Am I right? Okay, the VX2. This baby uh, is a special, especially if you're if you're um, if you're new to say um, home recording. You haven't invested yet home recording or for your kid starting up putting up videos in YouTube and stuff. Okay, what the VX2 does, it is a 30 watt M. That's small, yeah, small small baby, 30 watts, specking a punch. Eight inch speaker for, for perfect for your bed, bedroom practice. It has a USB type interface for Mac and PC. That means you can actually record into GarageBand, you can record out into Logic or whichever DAW you're running. That's brilliant. And uh, you can access um, the Tone Room editor that I was using on the VTX through the iPad. You can do the editing of your tones there, store it there, then plug it into the PC. So it's perfect for for the YouTubers <coughs> or just home recording starting out. What's the VX2 uh, going at? Five thousand. <laughs> 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 No problem, no problem. My open question. Please. No, but you can do more cases of. While we're waiting for the details, yeah. I'll just go and tweak because I haven't programmed anything on it. So, what you're going to hear is trial and error. It's, it's, yeah. There's no editing, no cut paste, no photoshops. <laughs> <laughs> The advantage of the VX2 is the interface. It's 
direct, you can, you can use it for recording purposes. Um, as you can hear how it's, this is a vintage, um, vintage modern setting of a JVM. If I go to, uh, say, um, an earlier version of uh, Marshall, 30 and 15s, um, this is the AC-10. Uh, it's actually one, one of my favorite um, Vox amps since I've been trying them. The, the clean tones when you push up, when you really crank it up, like the, the, the full tube clean tone is just amazing. It's something that you, you have to try. You have the chance, um, get, the guy, get the boys here to set it up for you and have a go. The AC-10. 
Battles Rook. schoolmate here, me flower guy. Um, he wants something rockish for the sun. Eh? Metal. This is close to metal. This is close to metal. And I, we're gonna, gonna round it up with this track and just before we, I start playing I just want to thank you guys for making the time to come down and I'm sure in the future we'll be having more um, promos on walks, walks amps. I will be uh, actually doing videos uh, on different models and different um, utility, home solutions. Um, I'll be putting it to the test basically, putting things to the test yeah, so that you guys can will know what's the best potential of different M, different models, the utility of them. Then I'll be updated on my Facebook, so if you have, you have me on Facebook, you're gonna get all all the, f the future videos and updates. Yeah. So thank you so much. And um, before I go, one last track, one last jam. God bless rock and roll. Oh, come on.
Thank you.